Hi and welcome back to the channel. Just a quick video today about a very cool activity called Categorize. Let's get to it. So I'm in a smallish hotel room and I stumbled across this very cool activity called Categorize. It's one of the activities in the Gen AI activities pack. So let's jump into Studio. All right, we're inside Studio in, as always, an empty project. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the um, Activities pane here and search for Gen AI Activities, and that will give us this list of activities, and I'll take the Categorize activity and drag it into my canvas. Now, what the Categorize activity can help you do is categorize some content. You predefine some categories, and then you feed it some content, and then it'll find out where that content fits within those categories. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to uh, put in some pretty grumpy hotel reviews and we will see from a number of categories what these reviews were really complaints about. As always, when working with these uh, Gen AI activities, you need to have a connection set up in integration service. If you don't have that or you don't know how to do it, um, there's a link uh, somewhere up here or in the description below to a video where I show you exactly how to get all of that done. But let's get back to this activity. You can see here that it has a few properties. The, of course, the uh, connection property at the top, then content, then categories, and then the description of content. Um, I'm not going to fill out everything, but I do have some uh, text ready in Notepad that I'll copy paste into some of these properties so we can get through this very quickly. So the uh, content is basically, in our case, the grumpy hotel review that we want. So let's uh, go into the expression editor and I can just paste something in that I have in my clipboard. And then for the categories, we need to set up these categories for it to sort of recognize the content from. So we'll go into the categories editor and add a couple of entries, and then I'll paste in some stuff uh, that I have in Notepad. The first category is going to be accommodation, and then we can add a description to the accommodation um, category as well. And I'll do that. And basically, uh, the accommodation uh, category description is uh, reviews focusing on the quality of the rooms, beds, and stuff like that. The next uh, category is going to be service. And I'll paste in a description of that as well. No reviews related to the friendliness and yada, 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 all of that. The next category is going to be location. So that will be comments or reviews focusing on where the hotel is located. And finally, we'll add one more category and we'll call that value for money and paste in the description of that. Basically, um, you know, relating to, you know, what is the relative cost, of, you know, whatever quality you get at the hotel. So now we have the category set up and we have the content. So uh, let's just have a quick look at the content. The staff seemed disinterested and unhelpful. My requests were often ignored or handled slowly. You know, you can see where this is going. It's not going to be good. But it seems like this is relating to service. Let's save that. And then uh, we need to set one more property. Uh, that is the output property. Uh, and we'll just hit Control-K as always to create a new variable. And we'll just call this my category, sort of. There we go. And then we'll show a message box. Displaying the string version of my category. So this is now ready to run and it should be able to do a simple categorization. Before we do it though, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, and subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, all of that, so I kind of know you're out there. This uh, this really does help a lot. So let's run it. And we can see here that the first message box says, ta-da, service. So this was, in fact, a review in the service category. So let's try and paste in some new content and see if we get a different category from that. So I'll jump into the content um, expression editor here and I'll replace whatever content we have here with something new. And we can just take a quick look at it. 
the rooms were outdated and in need of renovation. Yeah, again, you can see where this is going. This is probably relating to the rooms and we have a category set up for that called accommodation. So let's see if that actually does match. And we get accommodation. So this was a very, very quick uh, example of how you can use this uh, categorized activity. And why am I so excited about it? Well, maybe I shouldn't be, but you know, you have something called communications mining. And communications mining is something that can analyze uh, and mine the communications going into your company, for example. And it can be emails, it could be support tickets and stuff like that. And communications mining can do a number of things. It can analyze, you know, it categorize uh, the communication. It can read the sentiment. So, you know, are customers happy or not? It can do a ton of things. It can extract data points from the communications. It is just a ton of stuff. This is not that. This cannot do the things that uh, communications mining can do. But it can do some simple categorization like you just saw. And if we think about it, you know, something like emails, you know, we get, you know, dozens or hundreds or thousands of emails every day. And if something like this could help us very easily categorize those emails and put them into different mailboxes or forward them to the right people or just delete them, um, that could be a big help. And it's very easy to set up. You saw me do it in a matter of minutes here. It's not communications, by, not by a long shot. It's a, a sort of a a light version of 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 that. It's still pretty cool and I like it. So again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have any questions, ideas, suggestions, comments, or whatever, leave them in the comments below. I will read them and I usually do respond to them fairly quickly because I don't have a life. <laughs> so anyways, uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video.